Hi there, welcome to Milkit Reviews. I've got two 511 belts here with me today. And I've got to say, right, um, I love a webbing belt. There's no mess with about it. Look great with your, your tactical pants. Right, they're, they're practical, right, they do their job. But it all depends on what you're selecting. I've got, I've got to be honest with you, there's a lot of junk out there. Right, and I've seen a, a lot of junk in my time and actually own some of it. Right, um, as you all know, I'm I'm a huge fan of 511. Right, there's, there's no no arguing that, and I've got a lot of their kit. When it came round to belts, well, I wanted to have a good look at what was about. Right, and the first belt we're going to talk about here, right, is the operator belt. Right, it's an inch and three quarters wide. Right, um, the webbing itself is incredibly tough. But having said that, it's it's very comfortable to wear, right? Um, we'll talk about the buckle in a second, but I, I want to concentrate on this webbing to start off with. With the operator belt, it's primarily designed for use with a holster. Now, having said that, I wear this as a normal but everyday belt, right? There's no ifs or buts about it. But what they've gone and done with this is they've put what they call a perma stiff liner. In between these, it's two layers of webbing. I, I don't know whether you can see that or not, right? But they are, there's two layers of webbing stitched together, and there's a liner stitched inside this, right? Now, I'm not sure exactly what this liner is, but what I can say is it makes this crush proof, right? Now, I can understand when people say to me, and some people have said to me, well, surely that digs in when you're wearing it. It doesn't, right? Um, I don't know why it doesn't, right? My thought on it was that. <laughs> probably it should but it, it just doesn't do that right it makes it very stiff so if you're wearing a holster any heavy pouches I mean I wear belt pouches all the time right with multi tools and all sorts of things in them right um, they at the end of the day right th this belt stays in shape right um, in fact I've just got to take it off and there's there's nothing wrong with this at all it's you know it's just like new and I've had this for quite a while now right this is the coyote brown color Right, it's available in black and also um, olive green. Right, um, I say everything about this is, is is top notch. The buckle, although it's uh, got a black coating, right, it's actually solid stainless steel. Right, it's machined, I believe, from a solid piece of stainless steel. It's got a six thousand pound rating on this. Now, although I would never, and I'm sure that um, 511 don't um, advertise this as a safety harness or a climbing belt at all, <coughs> I'm, I'm pretty certain, right, the way this belt's constructed, it's as good as any climbing harness I've ever seen, right? Um, I'm not saying go out and use this as a climbing belt. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just saying this is the sort of quality that you're looking at, right? Um, the... The, um, when you get beyond the, the stiffened liner, right, you go on to a single layer of, of webbing which allows the threading of the buckle. This end's a bit stiff because it's got the Velcro attached to it, but you just go through, you've got this sliding bar. I'm sure you know how to do this, but I'll just do it anyway because I like doing it. Go through there, move the buckle, the bar up, back through here, right, tighten it down, and then I say you've got Velcro on, loose in there's about 80 millimeters of Velcro there, and then you've got a long length of Velcro on the, the main body of the belt, and that just pops round and keeps the end of it nice and tight to there. Um, they do come in sizes, and I, I must say, I, I think with the, the position of the Velcro and the length of the free end of the, the actual webbing, right, this this single um, layer end. I think that, you know, when you order these, you, you need to order the correct size, right? Because if you don't, you're gonna find it's just not gonna quite match up with what you want. Um, that really ties up the operator belt. Now, the other one that I've got, <coughs> this one really does tick an awful lot of boxes in my book, right? It's the it's the double duty belt. Now, this is the, the inch and three quarter wide version. Right, it's black one side, coyote brown on the other. Right, um, where this really ticks the boxes for me 
is when I'm away, I'm, I'm generally on wearing sort of like blues, blacks, browns, right, khaki, coyote colours, right, this means I just carry one belt. It's that simple, right? I can just chop and change it. It's, it's that simple. If you want coyote, there it is. If you want black, just rotate the buckle, and there you go, right? It's, it's really that simple. But the other advantage with this belt, there's no metal parts at all. I spent half my life going through metal detectors, right? And there's nothing more annoying, right, than in some places you just cannot pass through it until you've removed everything that's metal around you. Right, um, so I mean this belt straight away, there's nothing there. Right, makes it safe for EOD use as well. Right, but for me, it's mainly the metal detectors where it makes the biggest difference of all. Right, um, everything about it is super sturdy. I mean, although there's no stiffener in this, where you've got the two layers of um, webbing, right, stitched together, there's five rows of stitching. Right, I mean, you won't be able to see that, but I can just see it. Certainly can't see it on the black side. I can just see it on the coated side. But there's five rows of stitching, holds this together really, really well. Makes it quite stiff. I mean, it's it's not as stiff as the operator's belt, but there again, it's not designed to be. Right, um, the plastic buckle again, very, very strong. Right, it goes together really well. It's just a simple through there, tightening up through there. Right, the only thing that you don't get with this is any means of attaching the free end. <coughs> so I mean, now, I've got to say, I generally tuck that free end into belt loops, right, which normally takes care of the, you know, the, the problem of it, it sticking out and flapping around. But what I did do last night, I was, I was bored, TV wasn't particularly brilliant, um, I had a bit of 15mm webbing, and I just made a, a little loop up, right, which goes on that you can use as a belt keeper. Right, um, it's not necessary. I mean, I've seen people online that have used uh, rubber O-rings for this purpose. Right, um, it's just one of those things. If if you're not fussed about it, or if it lines up with your belt loops, then why bother? Right, but once this is tightened, you can pull on that as hard as you like, and that's not coming out like that. This is very very good. The actual cost of this belt, and I was quite shocked at how cheap it was. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Right. But I, I do recall that I was I was pleasantly surprised when I actually bought this. But this is the the inch and three quarter double duty belt, right? Um, and please remember, it comes in two color combinations. You've either got coyote and black, or black and olive drab, right? So make your choices where you do. When you're ordering these, I mean, obviously make sure that that you get one that's big enough. But because unlike with the operator belt where you have the velcro and the single thickness um, webbing you don't need to be so specific with this so if you wanted a belt that was extra long that would say go over the top of a coat right for whatever reason right then it's not a problem with ordering up in bigger sizes with this because there's nothing to restrict right how you adjust it Right, again with all of my reviews, right, please if you've got any questions, any queries, anything you want to know, please let me know. Please subscribe to the channel, right, there's there's other 511 reviews coming up. I've got a, an absolute mountain of gear here that I've accumulated over the years that I've got to go and um, get recorded. Right, but um, I say, feel free to ask any questions. If I don't know the answer, I'm sure I'll be able to find somebody that does. Right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.